Zion National Park is a beautiful park. Um, it has very exposed mountains which form kind of a sawtooth ridge line. Um, the mountains are overwhelming and you drive right into Zion Canyon which is a humbling experience. The first day we were here at Zion National Park, we booked a canyoneering trip with Zion Rock and Mountaineering Guides. We took an Isuzu Trooper up some pretty gnarly jeep trails to get to this canyon called Water Canyon. And there we did three or four different rappels. We hiked about three miles through some pretty cool terrain. Basically, the trail was really, really like thin, and there was bushes on both sides, which were blackberries, blackberry bushes. And we just kind of walked through, and if there was one close by us, we would just kind of pick it, and then you would, of course, be able to eat it since it came directly off of the little stem. Huh. Canyoneering is basically when you're rappelling down the side of a cliff, and a lot of the cliffs we did were sort of at a diagonal, but not diagonal where it went out when you were going down, diagonal where it was going in. I love the rappelling. It's a little bit of a thrill, but you know you're safe as long as you trust your gear. And like I said, our guide was really great. But yeah, canyoneering in Zion was definitely a good thing. Another one of the rappels that I really liked was you rappelled down into this funnel and then the rope was a, a few feet short of the water. And at a certain point, you just let go of the rope, the rope will zip, zip right through your ATC device and you go crashing down into the water. So then I get down there and, and then the instructor's like, okay, jump, and I'm like, Okay, so I jump back. This water is freezing cold. Just kind of murky. You, of course, you couldn't really see anything. There were a bunch of little fish and tadpoles and mosquitoes all in it. So it was definitely not good water to be swimming in. Frankly, the water probably wasn't the cleanest. Um, you had been sitting there a while, but you know what? We're not any worse for wear on that one. <laughs> Afterwards, after I looked back, I was like, I'm glad I did that because it was actually like a lot of fun. During this hike, we had to basically jump into this hole that was filled with water and swim out the other side. And it just so happens, it was Nicole's turn to go first. So this one last water rappel, the family decided that I should go first but you look in the water and you're looking down and it's so dark. So I remember thinking to myself, should I man up and should I jump into this, this hole and, and swim out the other side first or should I send my wife? Well, in the wise words of Sala from Raiders of the Lost Ark, there might be asps, very dangerous. You go first. Ha! 
So there's a river that runs through Zion National Park, and that forms one of the coolest features in the park. It's called the Narrows. It's a slot canyon that you hike up the river through the canyon. We hiked about four miles total and had a really good time. You hike through rapids, you climb over boulders. Uh, there were a lot of people, but it was a really enjoyable experience for us. You are walking on rocks, and I don't mean just pebbles. I mean big rocks that, and the water is murky, so you're having to really balance. There wasn't much of a trail to it. It was a river that kind of went around rocks and there was a lot of rocks in it and you couldn't really see where you are stepping. So, was, so it got a little bit dangerous as you didn't trip over rocks and kind of completely swamp yourself. What was interesting about the Narrows is that I had never done a hike quite like this, where you hike literally in the middle of the river through a canyon towering hundreds of feet on each side. Very cool experience. There were so many people there. I wish there weren't as many. Like this was like more of like a sectioned off trail. People didn't really know about it. And it's because I feel like it'd be more fun that way because we could have spent more time. I'm really proud of my family for their bravery and for their grit and getting through the hiking. We hiked about five miles or so in total. Um, their courage in repelling off the side of these cliffs. And I'm really proud of my wife for accompanying me on this adventure. Um, I know most wives wouldn't do this, and I really appreciate that. <laughs>